You know that TikTok that is like, I think I'm losing my mind. Literally, exactly how I feel right now. Now, close your eyes. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Natasha. If it is your first time here, today's video, honestly, I don't even know what to call it. I have zero idea what it is. The fires where I live have gotten just so insane. I think that they're saying the West Coast has the worst air quality out of like anywhere in the world right now. Like it is just so bad that honestly I don't even want to put on makeup. My eyes have been just so irritated that the idea of putting on mascara and then having to wash it off later literally makes me want to like pull my eyes out like pop my own eyeballs out. So today's video I'm just gonna do like a little bit of daytime skincare and just like the tiniest bit of concealer and blush. It really just kind of like bullshit talk to you guys because what else are we going to do? So I already cleansed my face and I was popping a few zits as I do. I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. This is from Bliss. This is the Clear Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum with Clarity 5 Complex. That is BHA's Witch Hazel, Niacinamide, Zinc, PCA, and Sika Sika. I picked this up from Target a few weeks ago. You can see I've used quite a bit of it already. I picked this up a few weeks ago because I saw a bunch of people talking about it on YouTube and talking about how it's really helping like clear up their skin. Let me get one of these little cotton rounds. And you know, because I've just been, God, my hair is insane. I've just been complaining about it that I have been breaking out pretty badly. I've noticed that a lot of my breakouts have been kind of like the underground ones. So like when I'm washing my face, especially my forehead. You guys, I'm falling apart. Okay, the world's on fire. My fingernails are a mess. Anyways, I've been getting like a lot of underground ones and I've been using this guy and I think that it's really been doing something. I hate the packaging, I'm not gonna lie. It has like... So this, you like pump and the product comes out, but I notice that it's just like a mess, like it tends to get under, like under this area, it's weird. So I kind of like, it's a mess. I don't love the packaging, but I am really actually liking the serum. So I just put it on a little cotton around. It's so weird because it's a toner serum, so it, feels exactly the right texture of a serum so it's a little bit thicker a little bit more gel like but you're supposed to use it as a toner I have just been honestly just using it like a serum and I'm only putting it over the spots where I have been having breakouts so basically my whole face but more concentrated on my jawline and my forehead and I do think that this is actually working I was using it night and day it says that you should be able to use it daytime and nighttime it was drying out my face when I was using it like that, so I've only been using it during the day, but I have definitely seen an improvement of less acne popping up on my face, and the acne that I do have has been going away a little bit faster, so I'm really excited about this guy. And then I just kind of let that dry a little bit because it is a little sticky when you first put it on. And then I'm going to go in with this right here from The Ordinary. This is just the Hyaluronic Acid. 2% and B5 serum. I haven't ever really used anything from The Ordinary. This is the first thing I picked up and it's just a hyaluronic acid. Um, I've been liking it so far. My skin has been so unbelievably dry because of the fires, the smoke in the air. It's just, it's so dry. We've been having the air purifier and the humidifier going in the house like full time right now. They're working so hard because it's just like so nasty outside. Literally, Spencer, like, has hardly worked at all because he works outside, so they've just been sending him home. Like, today he went to work, today's Monday, and they sent him home within, like, 30 minutes. Like, he left and then he was home. It was insane. I think he spent more time driving than he actually did working today. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with my Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This stuff is my fave. <laughs> And then I'm just going to finally put on my moisturizer. This is the Milk Makeup, the Vegan Milk Moisturizer. I really, really love this guy. I've repurchased it a few times. Honestly, I need to grab another one because it's getting a little empty. This is a great, just thick, really heavy moisturizer, which is what I have been needing recently. I 
feels so nice. It's it is like really thick, but it absorbs so nicely into your skin and it doesn't feel like thick and heavy on top of the skin. Like it just kind of melts right in. And then take the leftovers and rub it all up in my hands. And that's it for my skincare. Honestly, I have just been wearing skincare. I haven't been going anywhere. I haven't been doing anything. Literally just been stuck in this house avoiding the smoke. And I have on this like weird thing where it's like I don't want to complain about it too much because so many people have like lost their homes, lost their businesses. I've known, I know people who've lost their homes who have been like evacuated from their homes for days. And you know, I've been lucky we've been stuck at home, but it still sucks, okay? It's smoky, it's nasty, like, I'm so ready for, like, the winds to change. Mm. And I'm just going in with a little bit of this Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This is in the flavor Gummy Bear. This is the newest flavor. It is so amazing. It smells exactly like gummies. Like, you know when you go to the gas station, you get, like, gummy worms or something? Exactly what that smells like. I'm going to put on some of this Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I have been really loving this when I'm actually wearing makeup. It is a beautiful glowy base uh, for your face. Spencer and I watched the strangest movie. Could be the strangest movie I've ever watched in my life last night. It's a Netflix movie. I'm pretty sure it's a Netflix original. It's called, uh, I'm thinking of ending things, okay? And the trailer of the movie, like, it looks like a weird movie. It's said to be, like, a psychological horror movie. The trailer of the movie versus what the movie is is so different. And the movie is over two hours long. And literally, from the first ten minutes of the movie, I was just kind of like... That was me the whole entire movie. Like, <laughs> even when the movie ended, me and Spencer looked at each other and we were like, what the fuck did we just watch? Like, I, I can't even explain <laughs> what the movie is about. Like, and it's so funny because afterwards we looked it up online. Like, I was like, we, we have to look up those articles. Like, the movie explained or what does it really mean? You know how articles always come out about movies? Like, when movies are a little bit more confusing. So... We looked them up and even reading those articles, like I was like, I don't think anyone knows what this movie actually is about. It is, it is so, so strange and nothing at all like what I expected and I can't stop thinking about it and it's not strange in a way where it's like really gory or really like, I mean it's creepy but it's like, I just like, if you've watched it, please let me know in the comments down below. Because I read probably six articles last night and I still don't understand what it's about. I'm going to go in with this Rare Beauty Concealer. I actually really like this concealer. Not that I've used it a whole bunch because, you know, I haven't really been wearing makeup. But the couple times I did use it, I really liked it. And I'm going to go in with the Rare Concealer Brush, which I like really, really love. I am so shocked with how much I loved the brushes from this collection. That was like the last thing I thought I was really gonna love. And I'm literally just doing like the bare minimum today. After this, I'm literally gonna go lay on my couch and watch some TV. Like, that's what my life is right now because you can't go outside. Like, there's nothing else for me to do. I can't even go into my garage because it's like, flooded with smoke so this is what I'm doing I usually even like I'm gonna be able to go out back here's the thing is I could go outside if I wanted to go outside but I'm choosing not to go outside because it's disgusting <laughs> nice it just feels so lightweight like I just put that all over my face and honestly it doesn't feel like I put anything on my skin at all it just is so beautiful I might actually want to add just a little bit to the bridge of my nose <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so uh, now that that's on, I'm actually going to go in with another Rare Beauty product. This is the blush, and this one is in the shade Happy. So I learned my lesson the last time I used one of these, that they are so incredibly pigmented. So I'm just going to take it on the back of my hand. That is way more than I will ever need for this blush. And I'm just going to take it on my finger. and blend it up. This stuff is just like so incredibly pigmented. It's honestly like amazing how pigmented it is, really. And it like actually really lasts on the skin. Blush is like always always the first thing to fade off of your face like I don't know what it is that's just how blush works and this stuff is so pigmented and it really does how did I make this side way heavier than this side what am I doing take a little bit bigger of a brush here just to kind of blend that out a little bit more And then I'm going to take a little bit of this Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the liquid version, and this is in Champagne Pop. And I'm just going to take quite a bit on the back of my hand and do just, like, the smallest little highlight here. I'll take it on my finger. This liquid highlight is so beautiful. <music> We're just looking a little bit more alive here. For the brows, I'm literally just going to go in with a little bit of my soap brow and just do that. I don't want to do a whole lot for the brows today because, well, like I said, I'm going to be laying on my couch all day. So what's really the point? So just going in with that and pulling that right through the brows. <laughs> Cute. Um, let's do a little bit of setting spray. I'm just going to go in with the Rare Beauty setting spray. Man, I'm using a lot of Rare Beauty today. It has like the most amazing smell. I think that's honestly the main reason why I've been loving this spray since I tried it for the first time. It's just because it smells so good. And lastly, to pull this whole glamorous look together, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil. This looks extremely pink in the tube right here, but it's really not at all. This is in the shade Coral Kiss. Honestly, my lips are naturally pretty pink, pretty red anyway, so I don't really need to add that much color today. Glossy, cute, comfortable. I love these tinted lip oils by e.l.f. Definitely check these out. They're so affordable and there actually is like quite a few shades and they're super cute, super comfy. They go great. Honestly, layering over lipsticks, these do really good too. So check those out. Well, that's it. That is today's video. Like I said earlier, the idea of putting on a full face of makeup right now just is like Sounds like the worst thing possible because of how smoky it is. I definitely am going to start doing more makeup looks. It's, even if the smoke stays around, I mean, I can't really put it off for too long. But for today, I just was not feeling it. I just wanted to kind of hop on here, say what's up, keep you updated on what's going on with me. Like I said, the fires are really bad by my house right now. Thankfully, we live a little bit further in town. But I will say, like, five blocks away from us is evacuated. So we're kind of, like, right on the line. 
So that's just what's going on with me. I wanted to keep you guys updated. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys have been feeling, what you've been up to, if the fires have really been affecting where you live. I know the whole West Coast is covered in fires right now. Like, we're just on fire. The world's on fire. That's what's going on. So let me know in the comments below how you're doing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post here every Tuesday and Friday. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.